Yo, what's going on? Nizion here, back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can remove this locked icon on some of your applications on PlayStation. But before I get started in today's video, if you are new around here, hit the subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications as always to join the Nizion Nation. And let's go ahead and get started into this very simple tutorial. So, first of all, what you're gonna need to know is you have to understand which account that you actually own this application on. Some people actually go ahead and game share their account, so what that means is they lend their account to other people so they can go ahead and access these games and applications on their consoles without actually paying for them. So it's essentially you're sharing an account to share these games and applications. So as you can see right here, it's actually locked, and whenever I try clicking on any of these games, it's gonna give me this error right here that it says that, can I use this content and and you don't own this content go ahead and buy it from the PlayStation Store now sometimes this issue is very weird because you might have actually purchased this game on the account that you're playing on and sometimes this issue actually occurs so first to fix that issue it's very very easy to do first of all go under settings and then click on account management and then go down to restore licenses and click on restore right there it'll take you around 30 seconds to complete it's very very quick uh, method right here that you can go ahead and complete this and hopefully your lock will actually get removed off your applications now this does happen very very like randomly and doesn't happen a lot but once it does happen it gets very very frustrating so hopefully that will be able to unlock the lock on your applications now say for example right here the lock did not work and that's because I don't actually own this game on a specific user that I am playing on so first what I want you guys to do is go onto the uh, user that you actually downloaded this game on so I'm gonna go to the original user user and then what you have to do is as you can see right here on the original user the games are actually unlocked and I can go ahead and play them but if you go under settings and then click on account management again on your account that you own the games on and click on activate as primary and make sure that you activate your primary ps4 right here and then once this is activated there you go guys you can go ahead and switch user go back to your second user and as you can see right here now the games that were locked are now unlocked and I'm gonna go ahead and start up this just to show you guys that so it's a very very easy tutorial hopefully you guys can learn something in today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave in the comment section down below it's been a boy and I'll be catching you guys in my next video peace out